What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. Today we're taking a look at the Falco Holsters G201. This is a brand new EDC firearms bag. You can carry your CCW in this pouch and I'm going to tell you all about it right now. So let's take a quick dive into it. So you can get this on the Falco Holsters website. It comes with a Velcro rubberized holster inside of it. Um, you can also get the magazine holster separately. It's sold separately, but I have both of them in the bag right now. You can put your firearm in there. You can put your ammo in there as well. You have this really neat design that they have. And I'm gonna show you guys right now how that works. So basically it's ambidextrous. You see there's two D rings here, one for each side. Now inside here, you have two pull cords, right? So you have two pull cords there. And what you can do is you pull that pull cord out you zip it right to where the pull cord is. You kind of feng shui that area right there so you can get that. So when you open it, bam, no problem. You can get to your firearm in two seconds flat or even a half a second flat. And you'll be able to draw really nicely from this bag. Um, the last Falco Holsters bag that I did have, I couldn't really draw from it very well. So I wanted to upgrade. I wanted something a little bit more uh, draw capable and something that it's a little bit more gray man and something that kind of doesn't look like you're carrying a firearm. So this is the bag that I went with the G201. Now you have some molly, laser cut molly on the side here. You'll be able to do something with that. You can stick a um, tourniquet on here if you'd like. Um, plus there's a lot of stuff in here. Look at, look at this. You pop this open. Now I always carry a secondary non-lethal and this is what I carry for my non-lethal. Nice little taser. So you can put that right in the front there. Then in here, you could carry something like an Israeli bandage. As you can see, this is one of the uh, smaller Israeli bandages. You could stick that right in there and you'll be able to have something just in case you get injured. Um, also, I have this nice little pouch in here and you're gonna be able to fit a lot of different things inside there. Like my whole fist fits in there. I have one of these giant battery banks here. I'm just gonna give you guys a for instance. You know, and I still have plenty of room in there. But one of the cooler parts about this bag that I did like that the other bag kind of had but didn't have is a place for your cell phone. Now, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody's walking around with their cell phone. So I could stick my cell phone right in there. Now, I have the um, Samsung S22 Ultra. Now, that is a pretty darn big phone, and it fits in there with the greatest of ease. You know, it slides right in there. The one con that I don't like about this bag is it's very radly. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take all of these off. All the zipper pull tabs, yes, they are YKK, but that means absolutely nothing to me, um, especially if I'm walking around and I'm jingling. Say I need to approach a situation where I need to be a little bit more quiet. This is gonna stand out. I'm gonna sound like somebody's uh, dog running through the streets. So now I'm gonna set this bag up the way that I want it. Now the guys over at Falco Holsters, they're probably gonna be like, what the heck is he doing? But guys, I love this bag, but I don't want it to sound like I am a um, you know five-year-old little girl uh, trying on mommy's jewelry, all right? I want it to be something that I'm gonna be able to, and look at the, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this to a brand new $100 bag, yeah because of the fact that there was some design flaws. This is definitely what I would consider a design flaw, all right? If you're gonna go gray man, you don't wanna be jingling like Santa Claus every time you're walking down the street, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my good old Maxpeditions and these zipper pull tabs, I'll leave a link down in the description, but um, I got the smaller ones here. I love the smaller ones. They do a very good job. I'm able to throw these on here and look at that. Works perfectly fine. Just like the other pull tabs, except for it's quiet. You don't have to worry about it being loud. So this is what that look, sounds like. It's nice and quiet. Now it doesn't jingle. Before, it was crazy, crazy jingle, jingle. Now I'm going to put it on every single one of these. Now, guys, hear how loud this is? Listen how loud this is. Now, jingle this for you not loud anymore is it I can go like that so if you're running this is what it's gonna sound like now my microphone is right here okay if 
that was loud, you'd know. So there we go, perfect. And I could still pop open. I could still get to my firm. I zip this back up. It doesn't sound like I'm a golden retriever running down the street. Now another great part is when you switch swap this out, switch swap, yeah, when you swap this out for this, this is the difference here. You can see the difference. It is a huge difference. You're talking uh, 4.7 grams versus 2, 2.2-ish. So you're definitely gonna be saving some extra weight. Not a lot, but enough to make it a little bit noticeable for if you're carrying something that weighs a little bit more. Every ounce, every, every gram counts when it comes to your EDC. Now, another thing I like to do with my EDC bags is I like to throw a little bit of a flashlight or something on the outside of it, just in case I need it. If I'm walking in the house at night, you know, and I just want something to kind of see where I'm going with my keys and stuff, you know, that's that's all you need, really. You see yourself walking in a doorway or something. And it's not super bright. I don't just leave it clipped on. I use zip ties right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll zip tie it. Yeah, and the reason I did that is I got two zip ties so it won't fall off. I could still charge it. I just bring my bag over to the charger and I could still charge using the little port down below. This is Nightcore. I'll leave a link down in the description for that. I did a review on this. I am going to show you guys this awesome strap that they have here. This is a really nice strap. It's very solid nylon. This Now, this isn't something I want to point out here. Everything on this bag is extremely well made. You get that great holster logo in there, that Falco logo all across this and the cool part is it's detachable and expandable so you can buy expansions you can make this smaller you can make it larger and you can actually go out if you have the same exact clips you, if you don't like this strap you can go out and get a different strap you know but i do like this strap so i'm going to keep this strap on this bag it's very easy to work with too you got those clips boom say you had to drop this really quick you just pop this off get rid of the bag if you needed to you know very very simple very very structured bag you also have some more molly back here and you could put this on uh, a, a bag if you wanted to attach this to a backpack or you wanted to do something else with it you can do that as well so there's a lot of different things you could do with this bag it also has a little loop here like I said, it's got the two D-rings, so if you want to put your keys or something on there, they're going to hang there pretty well. Now, this is what my keys sound like, typically. But when I take them and I kind of put them on the D-ring, dump the rest of them in there, and close this, this is what my keys sound like. Very, very, very minimal noise. Now, that's way better than the zipper sound. It very much reminds me of my old Maxpedition bag that I had reviewed on this channel. Now, I really loved that bag. I love this bag too. This is pretty nice. And I'm gonna EDC this from now on uh, compared to the last Falco Holsters CCW bag that I did have before the G122, I believe it was. And that was a really nice bag, but this one is going to be more gray, man. This is gonna be what I'm gonna EDC from now on. You can see right now, this bag looks a little fat, and here's the reason why. I can still get to my firearm with no problem. See, that pops right open. But the cool part about this now, and I think this is what everybody should kind of do when they have a bag like this. Now, I've just kind of been ridiculous with this, and I threw the whole thing in there, but you can, in fact, and this is a very important thing that you should probably do, is I did stick an entire trauma kit inside this bag. Now I have VanQuest, um, I'll leave a link down in the description for this one, but I can fit everything in here. I got my tourniquet on the side, inside here I got Israeli bandage, I've got uh, chest seals, I've got packing gauze, I've got tape, I've got gloves, I've got everything you know that you would need for a quick fix for a uh, GSW. So you be good to go um, with this particular little setup here. And like I said, you don't actually need to have it inside like that. You could take all this stuff out if you wanted to, and you could put it inside this uh, pouch here, and it's gonna slim it down a lot better. I just went overkill just to show you guys that it can fit a lot inside this pouch. And I stuffed all that stuff inside the pouch and close it back up here. And the profile is still pretty low. This is still a lot smaller than my uh, my Fat Boy or whatever it was uh, 
from Max Expedition. So you've got a really, really low profile bag still. And you can carry, you're tr carrying your trauma kit, you're carrying your firearm, you're carrying a secondary non-lethal. You got, you know, and also I still have that Israeli bandage stuffed in the front as well. So I, I don't actually need a second one, but still, I'm just saying you could carry a lot. So if I slim that down a little bit more, see, I can close this a lot better. So now I don't have to bring it out as much. So you can pull that back. And now you're still really, really slim. I love the fact that you have the molly here too. You could put um, your tourniquet on there. You just have to get a little pouch and it's gonna be very small, you know, but uh, they sell pouches that you can put on there. And that's what it would look like with the tourniquet as well. So it doesn't look terrible. You know what I mean? It doesn't look terrible guys. I mean, to be honest with you, I think this might actually be the perfect uh, EDC uh, CCW. Uh, for people who want to be gray man but also want to carry enough to get the job done now you can still put if you wanted to a flashlight in here like i like i said i have tons of flashlights so i just go grab one off the shelf here and boom you know you can stick let's see this might not fit because this might be a little bit big but you can stick it yeah it fits but see that that carries there is also um the opportunity to put the warrior 2 in there you put the warrior 2 you can also put um you know, a Leatherman Skeletool in there. So you get those two things in there and then you have your trauma kit in there. So you have your EDC tools, you have your trauma kit, you have your firearm. You're actually really good to go with this bag. I mean, this is just a lot that you can actually do uh, with this bag. And like I said, you throw that tourniquet on the outside. You're really, really good to go. Of course, when you do throw a tour tourniquet on the outside, unless you have one that really covers the tourniquet and, and kind of conceals it, uh, people are gonna probably in the EDC community or in the uh, firearms community are gonna kind of know what you have in this bag. Now, when it comes to carrying the different firearms in this bag, okay? Now, one of the things that you're gonna notice is this completely opens up, okay? This is a very large surface area in here. You're gonna be able to put just about anything in there. Now, I have currently um, a smaller firearm. I'm gonna put a larger one in here and show you guys exactly what that looks like. Now with this bag, you can fit full stack. You can also fit something with a sight on it, um, an actual holographic or just a laser with a flashlight. You can have that. Um, you can also fit compact and this is compact. You can fit this in there with no problem. This has a laser, this has the light on it, has everything. And I'll be able to stick that in there with no problem. Boom. And does it close? Of course it closes. It closes, it's a little bit more bulky of course, but it closes completely and you're going to be able to draw from this as well the same exact way so i'll put that little tab out here and then here we are we're nice and sealed up and closed and you're going to be able to pull that and get right to that right away see so now you're good to go guys i'll leave a link down in the description don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys stay prepared